Monday, Friday, today is Friday, November 3rd. I'm Terrell. And I'm Kiara, and this is your morning news. Seniors, November 6th is the last makeup day senior portrait for the yearbook. To sign up for the last session, report to room 4206 in Freshman Academy. We had to beg the photographer for additional makeup days, so space is limited. You remember, there's a $10 center fee due to the photographer on the day of the session. Wear a key, certificate may be picked up, and the guidance during lunches. The pre-ACT will take place on November 7th for all 10th and 11th grade students. There will be a parent informational meeting on November 2nd at BHS at 6 p.m. in the small auditorium. Get ready! Worldwide, premature birth is the leading cause of death in children under the age of 5. Babies born too early may have more health issues than babies born on time and may face long-term health problems that affect the brain, the lungs, hearing, or vision. November 17th is World Prematurity Day. Join FBLA as we partner with the March of Dimes to help raise awareness of this serious health crisis and show support on that day by coloring BHS purple, the March of Dimes color. Purple wristbands engraved with the V for High School will be sold for $1 November 10th through the 17th in the cafeteria and in Ms. Smith's classroom, 2205. Students who have purchased the wristband will be allowed to wear purple shirts and accessories with blue or purple jeans on November 17th. FBLA has set a fundraising goal of $500. We hope that you will help us reach our goal. Your generosity will help to fund life-saving research and programs that make a difference in our community and around the world. Students plan to take AP Calculus in the spring need to join Ms. Woods' Google Classroom using the code on the screen to get their review packet. These review packets are due on the first day class of January. If you have any questions, you may see Ms. Woods in room 1233. LA members, your membership dues of $30 must be paid by Friday, November 3rd. Please make your payment directly to the bookkeeper, Ms. Galley, or use the online payment portal. This Friday, the Youth and Government Club will have its second Jean Day fundraiser. See your club member during lunch. Jeans need to be free of holes, rips, or tears, $2 in advance, and $3 on Friday. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will meet Friday morning at 810 in the RTC room. All are welcome to join this morning fellowship. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Canoza in room 4133 or Ms. Erwin in 1229. Project Unified will be held every Tuesday during IOT in room 3115. Dr. Obrowski and Ms. Kidd invite students interested in the citizen science to attend an orientation meeting about developing our native plant garden on campus. Students will help create the garden and water feature, then learn about native plants and pollinators with the ecosystem. Collect data and teach others about the importance of protecting habitats. Opportunities for learning outside the classroom will be available. We will meet in Dr. Anwarski's classroom Monday, November 6th at 3.50 till 4.30. Good morning, Reaper I. My name is Daniel. I'm here to tell you about today's sports. Varsity football will play Myrtle Beach away tonight in the first round of state playoffs. Cross-country boys and girls teams will compete at state championships tomorrow in Columbia. After the state competition, we will highlight all of the state individual qualifiers. That's it for your sports announcements today. Go Eagles! Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And everyone, please be seated for a moment of silence. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of us, you can find us on YouTube. Please subscribe. Come again.